Greetings, gamer girls. I'm Celsey, and also known as Conquex, and then and I welcome back more Pokemon Green. Yep, we had yet another delay, but let me basically explain what happened. Now, I actually had to do another other re, another reset playthrough. A reset playthrough? I had to do yeah, basically um and a restart playthrough, I guess. And basically, I did it because well, let me explain what happened. Some Pokemon teams in Generation 1 I haven't actually beaten the final boss with, so I decided to use some uh, hacking, m hacking uh, black magic, and decided to make my teams the way I wanted them when we make it to the to the final boss, and I and so I did that. What? And I beat and I beat it with every one of them, so it's nice to know that my teams are are manageable for the final boss. So, and for red, blue, and yellow, it didn't really matter because I was doing, I was playing long cartridges. On green, however, uh, I had to be at a little bit fancy because, I had to get a little bit fancy because the, you know, because I was using an emulator for both that and the, you know, the actual Let's Play. So I decided to put my save file in another folder to, to ensure that it didn't get ruined, and so... And so, yeah, and I, and for the hacked file, I put myself, I put myself right in front of the final boss with my team in hand, and I did that. But here's the problem. I put my original file back, and for some strange reason, when my, I, when I loaded it back up, it was the same as my hacked file. I had no idea why that was. And I just couldn't, and it would, it would get a little too complicated just to figure out how I could, Put my team back in the state of the last episode, but and it just didn't work. So I just decided to do a restart playthrough, which I would. So I guess I might as well show our team's condition now. Here's Bulborb, and I actually um up, but and I actually decided to uh, rearrange the move set a little bit before I t I taught uh um I taught Bulborb uh, Toxic. Um, I decided instead to teach, um, uh, Ezra Toxic, um, because it would probably benefit him a little bit more. Plus, there are some other moves that Bulwark can get in instead. Here's a Nido Sight. And here's, uh, Xerxes. Another thing I decided to do was uh, teach Xerxes Bubble Beam instead of Amphitrite. Even though Amphitrite would have gotten a same type of attack bonus from it, she had Surf, so I thought it would be that would be a better idea if um, if uh, Xerxes had a, an electric move and a water move. So yeah, there's my reasoning there. Fortunately, he's not got, he doesn't have anything that would be good against uh, psychic types, or not psychic types, uh, flying, no, no flying, fighting types. Jeez. Um, but at least he can hit ghost types. Uh, let's see. Who came after Xerxes? Um. And like I said, I decided to teach as uh, Ezra Toxic. So, yeah, there's his moveset. Up next is Amphitrite. Uh, which I actually used um, one of the PP ups we got on uh, Ice Beam. As for Embryo XY, I used the PP up on Psychic and Mega Drain. So yeah, I also used one of our uh, one of our HP ups on a Bulb Orb, just but that was just for uh, in, for inventory space. Now if we head in here. This is the Safari Zone Warden's Home. Mmm, 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 fucking no. HMO4 teaches strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when they're outside of battle. Oh, yes, did you find the Sea Cross in the Safari Zone? If you do, you win HM. Here's the surf, rare Surf Agent. Alright, now, the thing about this guy is, uh, you, you remember when we were in the Safari Zone, we got, um, uh, gold teeth? Well, basically, um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the gold teeth to this guy, and he will give you, uh, HMO4, uh, which is strength. That is something that I accidentally did off-camera, and, um, it was a while, it's been a while since I saved, so, yeah. But, now I'm going to teach, uh, 
now I'm going to teach um, Nidocyte Strength. Nidocyte, and then these like, Strength is um, a 80 power, 99.6% accurate normal type move. Um, and I'm going to teach it in play. I, oh wow, I didn't know Embryo XY could learn it. Uh, I'm going to teach the put it in place of Body Slam. Even though Body Slam does paralyze, um, uh, Xerxes does already know it. I actually would have taught. I actually would have taught uh, Xerxes Strength. Um, and so we would, he would get the same type of attack plus, but he unfortunately cannot learn it. So, so yeah. So what strength allows you to do is you can approach boulders like this, um, use it, use it outside of battle. Okay, that was a bad impression. Uh, and you can move, and you can move the boulder, and get whatever's behind it. In this case, a rare candy. Okay. Oh, and also, uh, actually, I should probably um, head to the Pokemon Center just to. Uh, I should probably head to the Pokemon. Well, actually, I'm gonna fly to. Uh, let's see, where should I fly to? I'll fly to Celadon. I'm just gonna show off our item inventory real quick. Um. Because, uh, it's probably a little bit different from the last time. Here we've got all this stuff and such. Now I'll show you what's in the PC. And I'll show the, uh, okay. I'll also show, uh, what's in the, uh, in the Pokedex, because whatever's in the Pokedex is what we have in the PC. Unfortunately, um, we have less Pokemon than we did before, because once again, uh, I just, because of once again the, um, once again the restart, the restart file thing, but we still got a lot of Pokemon, just not as much as we did before. Um, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the, uh, Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, let's play, I actually plan to do a complete mon- a sped up montage of me just catching Pokemon, uh, and, and filling up the Pokedex, and th and that's, uh, and during that, we're actually going to have, um, filler music instead of commentary. Okay, now what we're going to head through is this way. Now, if you, I also just want, I also want to point out I filled up my inventory with, um, with, uh, Soda Pop, since it's just a lot, lot more versatile to use than, um, it's just a lot more versatile to use the super potions. Now, if you missed the video where, um, now if you missed the video where I we went in here for the first time, what you're supposed to do is, um, you're supposed to get a fresh water soda pop or lemonade from the Seldon department store, and you're supposed to give it to Officer Jenny here, and she will let you through into Saffron City. Uh, I did this earlier so I could get the Psychic TM from Mr. Psychic's house, which uh, which also, if you missed that, if you missed that video, um, I'll show you where he is. This is Mr. Psychic. TM29 is Psychic. It can lower the targets of special abilities. Once again, if you missed that video, I, you, I got the, t I, w I went here so I could get the TM29 I'm T for Psychic, and I used it on Embryo XY, because he does not learn it through leveling up. And what is going on here? With Sylph under guard control, we can exploit Pokemon around the world! Oh no, not these guys again. Yeah, Team Rocket is, Team Rocket is causing trouble in... Team Rocket is causing trouble in... Celadon. Did I say Celadon? I meant Saffron. Trainer tips. New Great Ball offers improved capture rates. Try it on those hard-to-catch Pokemon. Sylph's latest product released to be determined. Oh, sounds like Nintendo Direct.
Silfco office building. Being evil makes me feel so alive. Okay, I guess it's just a glitch in the game because apparently, because this happened in Pokemon Red, if you remember that. Ha! He's taking a snooze. All right, so it seems like Team Rocket is invading the Sylph Company, so we're gonna head in here. This is probably my favorite music in the whole game. Okay, so basically the Sylph Co. There are tons of trainers in here. And, um, I'm going to... Now, before I'm going to fight all the trainers in here, but I'm also going to show you the places you probably should go before you... before you, um... do anything else. Let's see, huh? Uh, we head in here. First, we want to go to floor five. Or level five, I guess. Okay. Now, there are also these telepads everywhere, which when you step on them, they'll take you to different parts of the, parts of the building. But we head down here. Here, there's a telepad here, which you gotta jump onto. I get through here. I heard sick. A kid was wandering around. And we have a rocket here, which has a single R buck. Triple pet. Alright, sorry, I'm just kind of trying to, I'm just trying to remember where something is. Oh yeah, I remember now. Boom! It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket, says the guy who uses Zuban Rattata. Here we have a card key, and I totally forgot to deposit most of my items into the PC. I just want to let you know that when you come in here, there's a lot of items, and if you want to get them all, make sure you deposit most of your items into the into the P PC. And now that we got uh, now that we got the card key on, on level five, now we want to head to level nine. I'm gonna be careful not to accidentally run into any trainers, but I think this is one we kind of have to fight down here. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. All right. Gold bat. Drowsy. No, you didn't mean to hit sweat. I have the urge to hit the speed up button right now, but I'm not going to do that. Ezra grew to level 35. Why, brothers, I lost. Okay, um, now, what the card key allows you to do is, um, is, uh, head through these doors right here, and you can open any door in here. And right here we have Nurse Joy. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Don't give up. 
You can rest here as many times as you so need, and that will basically heal all your Pokemon up to full health and full PP. So if you, so if you, so whenever you need to rest, just come here, and Nurse Joy will help you out. Now I'm gonna head back to floor one, and we're gonna go through all the floors and try to get all the items. Can't promise I'm gonna get all the items, but I'll try my best. There is nothing on floor one, I don't think. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? Alright, alright, as uh, drill into its mouth. I actually kind of prefer the sprite in green and in red and green than I do in red and blue. I wonder what I mean by red and green. I'm talking about, like, the... Uh, and I'm talking about like the Japanese versions of red and green because if you, if you didn't know, uh, in the original Japanese version, uh, Pokemon red, red and green actually had the same sprites. Um, they were fixed up in the American version of Pokemon red and blue, which I don't know why, I didn't really think the sprites were all that bad. Yeah, everybody's a critic. I'm actually using my uh, USB Super Nintendo controller instead of my NES controller because I was having issues with it for some reason. Note to self: don't put your don't put your computer in sleep mode while you have v VBA it, while you have VBA open. That's the emulator I'm using. I goofed. Silco will be merged with Team Rocket. Yeah, fat chance. It's off limits here. Go home. And we have a scientist. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, po I forgot. Um, it's an electric type. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I played Pokemon, so my kind of so my knowledge and types are kind of off. On the bright side, I don't have to worry too much about uh about, um, the electric moves hitting Ezra. Ezra grew to level 36! Magneton! Actually, wait, I should've switched to the Amphitrite. Or whoever, whoever is also level 35. Why does that move have a little delay before? Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's only Thundershock, though. I did a lot more damage than I thought it would, though. Eh, I just do. You're good. Why, but no kids are allowed in here. I don't know why, but I find it kind of fun, kind of satisfying to see if it's, to see if I can get as far away as possible uh, before the trainer, you know, comes up and, and challenges me. I love Vaporeon's cry. I really wish I could still play this game on the cartridge because I know the Game Boy's color palette was limited, but I really. But I really liked um, that the Pokemon games had like a had like a tint. If you were playing on a Game Boy Color, depending on what color it was, red. I mean, red, green, and blue like had that had that little tint to them. Yellow didn't didn't really. Uh, you kind of changed color depending on what town you were in, which I guess was maybe um, them trying to utilize the capabilities of the Super Game Boy. Tough. By the way, guys, if you want me to play um, these games on the Super Game Boy, let me know. 
Maybe we'll do it for like the final boss. Bingo! The car key opened the door. Help! I'm a self-employee! Well, why are you challenging me then? Alright. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk about, so, or much else, I guess. Uh, I guess I can tell you a little bit of interesting trivia about, um, about, uh, the original Pokemon games. Now, we all know that the default name for, um, our character, uh, Amphitrade go to level 36. How did you know I was a Rocket? Because he challenged me. I, I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. Wow. A likely story. I uh, a little bit of interesting trivia about um a little bit of interesting trivia about um uh, this game is that uh we all know that the that the, the uh we all know that the uh the we all know that the uh the, the our main character's default name is Red, right? Um, well, a bit of an and. Of an interesting fact is that originally in beta, um, Red was going to be called Ninten, which, which, um, some, um, some people might think that Pokemon was actually originally going to be like a Game Boy port of, um, Mother, but I personally think the more believable thing is that, uh, is that it was just a beta name. Eek! No, stop, help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket, I thought. I'm sorry. Here, please take this, and I'm, and please forgive my voice cracks. <laughs> okay. Um, TM36 contains self-destruct. Um, let me just pull that up. Self-destruct is um. self uh, Self-destruct is um listed as a as a as a hunt. Self-destruct is a uh, listed as 130 power 99.6 accurate uh, normal type move um but but the target's defense is halved during the damage calculation effectively doubling it, it to 260 um um basically what it does is um your pokemon basically kills itself to do a crap ton of damage like you do a lot of damage but you defeat yourself at the same time. I'm actually going to teach that to Embryo Exile, which even though it's not the best, not the best user of uh, um, physical moves, because because rem remember, um, normal moves are all normal moves are physical in this game. Uh, even though, even though, um, even though uh, Executor is not really good at using um, using a. Uh, What's a, uh, physical moves? It could be considered. It could be good for like a last resort. I apologize for being autistic, but that but that's just how it is. Over here, there is nothing. Oh, quit messing with us, kid. Given that razor leaf.
Oh uh, yeah, um, and uh, also in a well read beta name was Ninten. Um, Blue's beta name was um, Sunny, which uh, which brought with further which further supports my claim is that it was probably just them. Um, uh, beta name and they were named after the and they were like named after the uh, like video game companies or something because I'm pretty sure the PlayStation was out when this um when this game came out what I give up. All right. Uh, I I believe one of these um, telepads you're actually required to go on, which I'm all sure I'll be sure to make note of that. I think it's actually in this on this floor. Could be wrong though. Speaking of self-destruct, Electrode is actually one of the one of the. Okay, I was about to say it's it's known for using that move, and apparently that proves my point. Well, well, now you guys get a visual of what self-destruct actually does. Now I'm gonna switch the amateur for this. You really got me. Hump, Team Rocket said if I help them, they'd let me study Pokemon. Alright, I'm leaves the man to do it. Or, not Bulborb. Well, at least it's not like in Mother, where, where if you use the use them healing item on uh, your ally, it kind of just wastes it. Alright, um, I believe this is the one you want to go on. No, it's not. Oh, wait, no, 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 it wasn't that one, it was this one. All uh, right, yeah, this is when you will go on. I see a familiar jerk down there. Here we have a hyper potion. I work for Sylph. What should I do? Did I forget a name down there? I hope I didn't. We're in... Actually, yeah, I think we... Did we have a hyper potion under inventory? Oh, yeah, we did get that. Alright, my bad. Okay. Um... Intruder spotted! Bro. All right. 
I don't want to put Bull Pit Bullworm against the uh, Zubat family because because of Leech Life, you know. Four times weak to it. Which I really don't understand how Poison is weak to Bug. I guess maybe... I guess maybe, um... I don't really know, actually. Are Poison and Bug the only two types in this game that are actually weak to each other? I don't actually remember if I said that in, like, an earlier video. I probably did, but... I actually looked at the dates of the previous videos, and it turns out it's actually been a whole year since we've, uh, since we've started this LP. Yeah, I have been trying to get this get this project done for, like, two years now, considering I was having trouble with it and, like, emulating it on, like, Emulator Online and stuff. Team Rocket has taken command to Silk O. Honestly, I'm really glad I decided to just go to cartridges. Wahaha, <laughs> my boss is after this one. Oh, I just want to know if you actually do go straight to where you're supposed to go, um, and a safe self go. Uh, this, you actually will, um, need to, you actually, um, all the trainers in here, I will actually disappear so you can't get the experience off of them. Here we have a full heal, an escape rope, and a max revive. And over here, a guy. Can you see I'm hiding? I never really use the telepads, so I just kind of plot. I just kind of go through the place. My Pokemon are loyal soldiers. Oh god, is this thing gonna explode too? Well, it actually, is a move in this game called Explosion, as funny as it is. I have a feeling it's gonna blow up. Maybe I should switch. Uh, I'm gonna take my chances! Oh, wow. You know, it seems like every game, except except Mother Slash Earthbound, has um, has uh, um, an obnoxious wannabe sound um, from Legend of Zelda. And I'm just gonna use all these potions on Bulboard, just so that because they're just kind of burning a hole in my pocket. And do I have the town map with me? Don't tell me I never got it in this playthrough. Okay, fine. Next time I leave the self go ahead back to Pallet Town, I'll get the, and I'll get the map. And we'll use the last one to Ezra, why not? Alright, I think that's all there is to do on this floor. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is floor four, right? Anything we haven't gotten? Okay, no. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is the floor we got the, uh, card key on. 
show Team Rocket a little respect. What you got? That pendulum is mesmerizing. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's a psychic tech. What is it with me and not remembering uh, remembering my types in this video? Ball board grew to level 37. <coughs> Which reminds me, coughing involves in the wheezing. <laughs> How fitting he was coughing there. It's a Pokemon report. Four Pokemon evolved only when treated by Link Cable. It's a Pokemon report. Over 160 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. This is like the original Game Boy game. It's a Pokemon report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. And what is this guy? Is it another disguised rocket? What? There shouldn't be any children here. Okay, there's just a random juggler here. Mr. Mime. Here's a demonstration of strength there. Oh goodness! You're only on five, on floor five. It's a long way to my boss. Apparently, this guy is working for Team Rocket. He's just a juggler. Maybe he's a new recruit and hasn't really changed his trainer class yet. Team Rocket is an uproar with some intruder. That's you, right? Uh, something I actually should mention is if you see someone on the field who's just always, you know, like turn or like turning in different directions, they're not a trainer. Trainers there. Uh, uh, usually NPCs that are like facing in one direction all the time, that is a trainer because trainers can't um, uh, face different directions at will. We studied Pokemon on, on, I didn't even see what he said. Nita Psyche grew to level 37! Coughing! I'm going to Dang, blast it. I already felt that guy. 
Alright, let's see what's in here. We found TM09, which is... Takedown! That's basically just the less powerful version of a uh, double edge, so I'm not gonna teach that to anyone. Here we have protein. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Hold on a second. Oh, I think there was a hidden item I missed downstairs, so I'll go back and get that. As Red Rooter level 37! You know, I gotta say, this game has surprisingly good, good battle graphics for Game Boy standards. And again, I haven't really played any Final Fantasy games yet. Oh, jeez, I went up by accident. <laughs> I meant to go down. Uh, I think there's some um, hidden item in one of these plants. Yep, there's an elixir right here. Oh dear, oh dear, dear. Help me, please. Look at him, he's such a coward. Yeah, I've noticed that some NPCs don't talk to you when you hit an A for the first time. They must have targeted Sylph for our Pokemon products. I mean, what else would they have targeted you for? The Rocks came and took over the building. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. You guys are all telling us the exact same stuff, effectively. You, you dare betray Team Rocket? Alright, and I forgot to put Amphitrite out front. Oh, ugh! You traitor! Yeah, but if you stand for justice, you betray evil. Exactly. That rotten president! He shouldn't have sent me to the t Tixie branch. What? Amphitrite grew to level 37. Amphitrite's trying to learn Tail Whip. No! I cannot do the, the epic no as well as a meal can.
All right. Here we have an HP up. I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I got the town map again. Here we have the next accuracy. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Brothers, I lost. Doesn't matter, my brothers will pay the favor. Alright. We got down here. <laughs> you mistook me for a silk worker? Well, ju well judging by uh, judging that the only people in this building that use the, sp use the field spray you do, I imagine you would have been a uh, scientist. Well, then again, there is this one, uh, I know there is the one, one trainer later in the game that uh, uses the swimmer sprite, but he's actually a cue ball, which is kind of funny. We'll get into that when we get to that. And the drag grew to level 38! Every OX was looking at me cross-eyed. You know, I gotta wonder if it. I wonder if, it, if it's actually one brain that's controlling all those uh, those heads. I'm done. Despite your age, you are a skill trainer. I don't hear any ages and have enough of those problems already. Here we have a calcium. Oh ho, I smell a little rat. And wow, I didn't switch Pokemon. And I literally just realized. What worries me about the goal that is that is that um, Embryo XY is also quad weak to the bug type moves, which actually makes sense. Lights out. 
You will find my boss just by scurrying around. You, it's really dangerous to you. Can you save me? You can't. You can't. Oh, man. Kudos to you for getting that reference. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which would catch any Pokemon. Master Ball, huh? It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Silphar or, po or Pokemon. I think they kind of already did. I'm just kind of undoing their work. Is there anything over here? Here we have TM03. What does that what does that contain? It contains Swords Dance. Let's see. Swords Dance is um, a status inducing move. Uh, well, no, no, I mean uh, it raises your stat. Basically, what it does is it you, it, ra it, it ra it's a normal type move that raises your attack by two stages. A child intruder? That must be you. Okay, let's hit up more. That's as far as you'll go. This is as far as you go! Embryo XY grew to level 38. I think, I think Rock Slide might be my favorite in movie animation in this game. Not enough grit. If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. I am one of the four Rocker Brothers. Have we seen all four? I think we have.
Ooh, brothers. I'll leave you up to my brothers. I think I already beat them all anyway. You're causing us problems. Oh boy. Huh? I lost? Pay attention, man. So what did you so what do you think of self building's maze? It's not really a maze per se, but I guess it's cool. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Just let it down there, man. Alright, let's go up. And I guess we'll rest up. I believe there is something you can get in here. It's hidden though. Yeah, here we go. You can find a max potion on the bed here. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. There was another TM you could get in here. I don't know where, where it is, though. Oh. See if I can just gonna switch. All right, kind of useless to do since I have this.
God. If I had started as a trainer at your age, you would have been the youngest rocket ever, I think. And better be safe and sorry. I don't care if you guys call me a wimp. I think it's been really need the key after all. Your Pokemon have weak points, I can nail them. Um, that depends on what Pokemon you got. Boltor never learns. Any electric moves leveling up, so I hope you'll use the TM on it. Alright, and I should have switched. There! You hammered me! Florida has a lot of trainers on it. Enough of your silly games. Enough of your silly games, thank you. No continues left. I feel like I'm, I feel like I feel like having continues is just times five lives. Welcome to tenth floor. So good of you to join me. Bulbor grew level 38. I'm stunned. Alright. Here we have a Carbos. We have a rare candy. 
And we have TM26. Now... TM26, I believe, contains Earthquake. Earthquake is, um... It's a 100... It is a 100 power, 99.6 accurate, uh, ground type move. This is basically just, um, it's basically just dig, but it doesn't, but it doesn't have, like, a, the, uh, charging up part. Better, where you're semi vulnerable. Uh, but, I, unfortunately, because Neosite couldn't learn dig, she can learn earthquake, however. And I'm going to put that in place of uh, poison sting. Despite being a lot of poison type Pokemon in this game, there really aren't a lot of good poison type moves. Wow, I'm scared. That was a really bad voice. It sounded like a duck. Uh, up here, we've got some people in there. That we can somehow see because we have x-ray vision. Hot, do you have an appointment with my boss? Effectively. Uh, let's demonstrate Earthquake. Actually, I probably should have waited until we saw an electric type. Ah, demolished. Watch your stat, my boss likes his Pokemon tough. Alright. Let's head back to the ninth floor. Probably could have just taken the stairs, but oh well. Just gonna heal up real quick, and then I'm gonna head back to the third floor because I believe we have taken down all the trainers in here, and I think we've gotten all the items. If we missed an item that you know was there, you can let us know in the comments. But I don't think I missed any items. Uh, I believe it's the third floor. And we went ahead in here. And I think now is going to be the time where we end the video off. So I think next time on Let's Play Pokemon Green, we are going to fight whatever the heck is down there, fight whatever the heck is beyond it, and fight whatever the heck is in Saffron for us to do. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Clone Collection and the Night Gaming. Goodbye.